Hey everybody, Paulie here from Hard Drive Radio, and I am just so excited to have in the studio with me right now, Ben, Aaron, and Sean from Breaking Benjamin. What's up, guys? What's up, hey, man? How's it going? Man, Ember is out now, and I gotta say, the the I've been listening to it as much as I can, and all the fan reaction that I can find online, everyone seems to be digging it. It's gotta feel really good to have this album out right now. Yeah, we're stoked, man. It's like um, been a really, really fun album to make. And now we're just really stoked to go out there and, and just play it for people and have a good time. And we're really grateful for all the support we've gotten so far. It seems uh, you guys did a, a signing locally back in uh, Wilkes Bar for the album release. And, you know, all the pictures that I saw, lines were down the block. People were just waiting to, to come see you guys and, and, and get the album signed and, and just talk to you about it. I mean, how was that? Did, did you get to talk to a lot of people? Was it fun for you guys? We had to peel everybody off of Aaron. You know, it's his hometown. Mm. <laughs> they were all there for you. I don't know, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I saw, I saw a great picture on Instagram today of a guy walking up for Ben to sign something, and there's a girl holding a, a little girl that was crying, and the meme was like, I bet the kids stopped crying when they met Sean Shine. Oh, okay. It's this guy right here and, and they did and they did and they did you have that effect on kids i guess I mean, I on the seventh depends day depends on who you're asking <laughs> the lord said let there be light there's light and there was and there was it's, it's right here and there was chow <laughs> tell me a little bit about you know the process behind this because i think this is the first album that you guys have actually all worked together on collaboratively is that correct yeah that's what was really cool about it i was able to kind of take a step back for once and just focus on lyrics or you know the vocal melody or you know you know and they contributed lyrics as well so not even all of that so it was a really really a, a relaxing experience for me and i was able to really have fun with it more so than be burdened by the workload of it aaron tell me a little bit about uh getting to work on this album and, and writing stuff well i'm um, as somebody who's been i'm i'm from the area where the band is from you know me and ben have played together since before breaking benjamin was ever like signed or anything or before saturate was even an album so to get the opportunity to be able to contribute to what is to what was one of my favorite bands even coming into it was um it was really cool and also really stressful because it's a situation where this band has a track record of writing what i believe to be great music and by him you know allowing us to come in to the to the writing fold on that that puts pressure on us because if it's uh, if it's not good he could say well it's, it's those guys blame them so, <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know it's really cool though um speaking to that um you got a number one song because red coal river went number one yes, it did. and aaron actually wrote the part in that song that goes i can't feel anything at all he wrote that yeah nice i did so it's just amazing to like for me as a friend uh, to him to have that him have that you know like a number one song with a chorus you wrote and it. it's pretty cool right it's a i'm i still don't know how to like fully explain what the feeling of that is but it's uh it's it's incredible and just to to have it to have it be done you know by this group of guys who are and I mean, we, we love our fans and we play for our fans, but it's also made so much easier by the fact that we all love each other so much and that we're able to you know, work together and you know, live every day together. And we've been off the road for about a, a little over a month now, and I think we all miss each other a lot and we're ready to, you know, I was excited for today because I get to see some of, the, some of my boys and we get to you know, do something, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, we love touring together, so. Ben, I'm glad you brought up Red Cold River being number one because I wanted to ask, you know, for each of you guys individually, and Aaron, you kind of gave your answer already, but like, what does it mean to you personally to have a number one song? And for people who don't like know, you know, the insides of this business, it's it's, you know, it's a number one song on a radio chart, which means that that song was played more than any other rock song in the entire country. So, yeah, yeah, it's it's crazy. a big deal. It is a big deal. <laughs> yeah, especially for you, especially for rock, though, you know, and for a rock band, you know, and we're just like really stoked to be able to have the support that do that. And like I said, on a personal level, it's really awesome. These guys wrote and and it's their material like doing that. You know, I, I, I'm I've always been pretty humble. I never wanted to be the primary songwriter of the band. I just kind of was the only one that really did that. And I've I mean, I, I love the success. I'm really proud of the success, but at the same time, like I'm totally ready and, and good with kind of like letting somebody else take that 
um, six, you know, be proud of that too. And so it's, it's as on a personal level, it's, it means a lot to me too. How about you, Sean? How's it feel for you, man? You know, I still can't believe I'm here, you know, <laughs> and it feels like it just, my life went into a 360. It went from like doing nothing with music and being ready. That'd be to a 180. Old. If you were a 360, you'd be back where you started. <laughs> this That's is it. true. That's a good point. <laughs> yes. But, you know, I went from doing nothing to just everything that seemed like overnight, you know, and just to see the response from the album and, and charting like that, it's just insane, you know. I mean, these guys are great. I'm just glad to be a part of it. You also recently put out a new video for Torn in Two, and, uh, you know, it's it's a beautiful video, and it's cool because it's a continuation of the video you guys put out for Red Cold River, and I want to know... Um, is there is there more to this story? Are we going to see more of these videos? Because I would really love that. Yeah, without going into like detail of content or anything, because I like people to watch it. I don't really like to explain it, but it's a three part thing. Ah. So we're on part two. Excellent. So there should be one more. Yeah. Uh, when you do these videos, you know, do you have a director in mind? Do you already have a story in mind, or do you kind of just let somebody else kind of take that and go with it? Yeah, we've been working with the same director for a while now since. Um, ashes of eden and he's he's been just hitting it out of the park every time it's one of those things too that like i can just kind of tell him what i want like the vision of it i don't have to really go into like too much of incredible detail but enough and he gets it and he brings it to life and he's incredible he's an incredible director Sean, that uh, clear drum kit from the Red Cold River, do you, do you get to keep that or did you have to give it back? No, we're we actually, left it in a river. <laughs> <laughs> we're, uh, we auctioned it off for St. Jude. Oh, awesome. We always do big things with St. Jude. It's a big support of that. Yeah, we auctioned off all of our stuff there that day. And it did float in the river. It <laughs> was hard to shoot that video. Once it got under the water, though, we lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you have much time to play these days with like album promo and stuff like that, but I yeah. uh, just wanted to tickle your brain and see what's, uh, what's got your interest, what you're playing these days. I actually play mostly VR now. Cause, really? Yeah, once you go inside, man, it's hard to come out. You know, We call <laughs> regular gaming, we call it pancake because it's flat. And um, it's just like really... Um, you know immersive you know you're like inside the the game when you play in vr and it, it i find i find that there's games that aren't for vr that i get i was really excited to play um and then when i play them i'm kind of like bored off my ass because i'm not inside the game and every time once you go inside virtual reality and you're playing a game that way every other game that you play even if it's flat you kind of picture it how it would be you can't help it you just picture how it would be in virtual reality so it's just like for me almost impossible to play a game flat anymore because i've been inside of it you know it's right now it's skyrim ah uh, yeah because that game got like released for playstation but now it just came out so that you could play it on oculus and when you play on a PC, which I do now mostly, you can mod it and tweak innies to get rid of like health bars and make it even more realistic. It's just like the game that keeps on giving, especially with like a really active mod community that has. There's yeah, just so yeah. much extra stuff that's in it now. Yeah, I mean, you can completely revamp the game to look a lot more modern and play a lot more modern. And, and now with, uh, you know, Oculus, you have touch, so you actually are like using your hands in the game. Um, so cool. Yeah, it's awesome. I've completely like revamped all the graphics and the lighting engine and and all of that. So it's 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 amazing. Do you guys play it all? Well, he got me into VR recently. I got so into it, I built a racing simulator. Dude, he's in got VR. this whole rig <coughs> awesome. that's like this yeah. big racing car seat thing, and he's he's set up. Yeah, I built it out of PVC pipe and painted it. And went Did a all great out. job. I love that, and it's cool, man. Because when you like spin out, it literally makes you dizzy, and you feel the car flipping. Oh it, my God. It's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I um, I have I play on PC. I also have uh, Xbox and PlayStation, and I play on those. Uh, the next game I'm looking forward to is uh, the new God of War comes out very soon, yes. so I'm excited <laughs> to play the new God of War. Um, I play a lot of Overwatch, um, and then, you know, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I was stoked for the God of War game, too, and now it's like, I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just can't do it. <laughs> Especially because it's third person. That's too, one so. of those things that, like, looking at that game, like, if they put you in that world, that would be... And 
I kind of do the same thing because I use I have the PlayStation VR, so I've played some stuff, and they're like the Resident Evil game in VR is horrifying, absolutely I won't, terrifying. I won't. It is play horrifying. That. I won't play <laughs> that do game. It? No, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Like, I want to play that game on a flat screen. I don't want to be in that house. Oh, <laughs> it's the worst. But, yeah, you know, when you see games, I can absolutely, you know, see how it's like, man, what would this be like if I was inside the game? Yeah, I started playing Resident Evil 7. There's a part where you go down into the basement, and I'm like, okay, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. I'm taking the headset off. I'm not playing this game again. It's okay. You walk in the first you walk in the first house and you get in there, you get in the kitchen, you walk out of the kitchen, go around the corner, you can either walk down a hallway or walk up the up steps. Stairs. It's like I'm not going to either of those places. Yeah, like I don't, I don't wanna go upstairs. Wanna, like like I don't want right here. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. want to go upstairs. <laughs> like you after just want to explore when you're in a game. After like, seeing I'm what's on that up. table, I'm pretty sure my girlfriend, if she's in this house, is not alive. So <laughs> I'm can sorry. We swear? <laughs> can we yeah, swear? yeah, you can swear. Fuck her. <laughs> Oh you got God. you got to check VR out. Yeah, man, I've I've been dying to get at it, and I just haven't had a chance well, to. He, he can be at his house, and I can be at my house, and we can multiplayer, and you can see each other like in the virtual yeah, world. Certain games, like, certain yeah, games. like it looks like a robot version of Ben, and he's talking to you. <laughs> yeah, and you people, it's it, uh, just human nature. You kind of talk with your hands, so when you have the hands <laughs> on, you like sitting there <laughs> talking to someone. <laughs> It's crazy. Ah, oh, the future is now. I love it. Yeah, it really is. Uh, I think I saw. Is it is it Red Cold River is uh, now on Rock Band? Really, I didn't. Yeah, know I just yeah. did an interview the other day, and somebody was asking me about that. And I, I think it's awesome. It gives fans an opportunity to not really play the song, but play it. You know, right. and have fun with cool. it. But I like to ask, you know, actual musicians because they really seem to struggle with that game. Can you guys play that game? Hell no. I suck. <laughs> it's definitely, you know, not like playing an instrument. Yeah. So it it's just as green for uh, we have enough, uh, just as much trouble with it as anybody <laughs> else would. <laughs> I have enough trouble playing in the real drums as it is. Yeah, let it's alone harder to play game. the song on the <laughs> game than it is in real yeah, life. It's, just, yeah. it's like so counterintuitive to the process of actually playing an instrument. It's, yeah, no. That's that's usually the answer that I get, but it's always fun to ask. It's just it's just so awesome to have you guys here. I'm glad you came in. Um, before we wrap, is there anything you'd like to say to you know the fans who will be watching this video and coming out to see you guys on the road? Thanks for all the support. We can't do it without you guys. You know, so we really appreciate it. Yeah, literally everything that we have is because of our fans. You know, I mean, any band that's the way it is, and whether they know it or not, that's their problem. But we, we'll never forget that, and, and we're just nothing but grateful to be able to be on this ride because of the support the fans give us. So thank you guys. We love you. Yeah. This, this, what this, he said. <laughs> this band, this band is, is our, it's our fans' band. This album is your album. Any, uh, any success that it has is 100% because of all of our fans and everything that they allow us to have. So thank you. We love you. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Breaking Benjamin, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.